In the last video, we used the ng for to loop over the phone numbers in our object. And uh, we were able to get rid of any assumptions about how many elements there are in the phone array. But here's the problem. What if there are no elements in the array? Let's say I get rid of all of these and press save. You see, all of them go away, which is great, but there is this phone colon thing here, which is not really necessary to be displayed when there are no elements. What I wanna do is hide that phone header if there are no elements. How do I do that? The way I do that is by using another directive that comes with Angular, and uh, that is ng if. Just like you have a far, which kind of corresponds to the for loop that we write in programming languages, the ng if kind of corresponds to the if block in programming languages. You can have an if and a condition, and if that condition applies, if that condition evaluates to true, only then the template that's bound to that ng if is gonna get displayed. If the condition evaluates to false, then the template does not get rendered at all. Take a look at this template here. So you have this div, which is for the purpose of showing phone numbers, right? So you have the phone, and then you have the uh, list of phone numbers here. If user.phone is empty, we don't really need to show this div, do we? It just doesn't apply here. So what I could do is put an ng if on this div, and the condition for that ng if is gonna be the user.phone array. I'm gonna use this directive, star, star ng if. So this is just like star ng far for the for loop. This is star ng if, and it's gonna take an expression, which is the thing that needs to evaluate to true or false. In this case, I'm gonna say user.phone. What do I need to check here? I need to check if the length is greater than zero. So I want this div to be displayed only if there are more than one element in the phone array. So I'm gonna press save. And now you see the phone goes away. The whole div goes away essentially. It's because of this NGF. And since we're in JavaScript land, you don't have to do this for truthy, falsy evaluations. If you pass in an element, uh, if you pass in a number which is zero, it's gonna evaluate to false when you're doing something like this. So I'm gonna press save and it still works. If you add the elements back, you get the phone, all right? So basically I'm using ng if to show or hide this div uh, depending on this array. Remember though, when I say show or hide, that's not technically true. What the ng if is doing is basically removing this div from the DOM if this expression evaluates to false, right? So it's not just hiding or showing it, it's basically stripping out the DOM element from what gets rendered. So that makes it very efficient. It's not just sitting there and not getting displayed, it's just not there at all. All right, so we have looked at two directives, ng if and ng for. They're pretty powerful when it comes to making all these kind of manipulations to the template depending on your data. Both of them are something you're gonna be using quite a lot in your code. Now, before we look at some more Angular features, what I wanna do is make this add discard component a little more robust, and that's what we're gonna be doing in the next few videos. This isn't really helpful as a component if all it does is show the same data wherever it's being used. What we wanna do is be able to use parameters to show different data, right? So right now we have this hard-coded in the component. So no matter who uses our address card component, they're gonna see just this. What we wanna do is parameterize it so that they can pass in any data they want, and then the address card component is gonna show that data. How do we do that? Let's take a look at the next video.